Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponent problem involving roots? We have root 2 raised to the power root x minus root 2 raised to the power root y equals to 16. From here, let's rewrite this as 2 raised to the power half, that's the same thing as root 2, then raised to the power root x, then minus also. We can write this as 2 raised to the power half, then raised to the power root y, then equals to 60 from here. Then from the law of indices, this power we multiply, and then we can write this as 2 raised to the power root x over 2, then minus 2 raised to the power root y over 2 which is equal to 60 from here then in the next step we can represent this power with a letter and also this power with a letter so let m be equals to root x over 2 and let n be equals to root y over 2 so we can rewrite this equation and this will be 2 raised to power m minus 2 raised to power n equals to 60. And from here, for this to be a positive number, it implies that 2 raised to power m is greater than 2 raised to power n. And then which implies that m is also greater than n. And then we can write m as n plus a certain number. So we can say let m here be equals to k plus n. So when we write this now in form of k and n, we have 2 raised to the power k plus n, then minus 2 raised to the power n will then be equals to 60. Then we can separate 60 as 4 times 15. So we have 2 raised to the power k times 2 raised to the power n from the law of indices minus 2 raised to the power n will now be equals to 4 multiplied by 15. That will give us 60. Then from here, we factor what is common here out 2 raised to the power n common. Then remain 2 raised to the power k minus 1 from here which is equal to 4 times 15 from here then from here we have this will be an even number also this is an even number which means we can equate this so this will be odd number so this also is an odd number so from here we can say we have 2 raised to power n we then be equal to 4 and also we have 2 raised to the power k minus 1 will be equals to 15. And from here, 2 raised to the power n is equals to 2 raised to the power 2, which will give us n equals to 2 from here. Then on this side, we have 2 raised to the power k equals to 15 plus 1, which will be 2 raised to the power k equals to 16. So which will be 2 raised to the power k equals to 2 raised to the power 4 from here. k is equals to 4 from here. Then since we have the value of n and k, then we can get the value of m from here. m equals to k plus n. Since m equals to k plus n, so we can say that m will now be equals to 4 plus 2 so we can say that m equals to 6 so we got n to be 2 and there n to be 6 then we can recall from what we given that we use m as root x over 2 and then we use n as root y over 2 then m which is now 6 can be equals to root x over 2 and also n which is 2 now can be equal to root y over 
over 2 and from here we can cross multiply and this will be root x equals to 6 times 2 that's 12 to get x we square both sides from here then we have x will then be equals to 144 then also from this side we cross multiply from here we have root y to be equals to 2 times 2 which is 4 also square this side and square both side we have y now we equals to 4 times 4 that's 4 squared and that will be 16 so we have the value of x to be 144 and the value of y here to be 16 then also check from the given problem we have root 2 raised to power root x minus root 2 raised to power root y is equal to 60. Now, when we substitute, we have root 2 raised to power x, that's root 144, then minus root 2 raised to power root 16. With this be equal to 60 from here? Then here we have root 2, root 144, that's 12, minus root 2 raised to power 16, that's 4. Is this equal to 60 from here? Then in the next step, we can write this as 2 raised to power half, then raised to power 12 from here, then minus also 2 raised to power half, then raised to power 4. Is this equal to 60 from here? Then we have this power multiplies. So we have 2 here 1, 2 here 6. So this same thing as 2 raised to power 6 minus here 2 here 1, 2 here 2. That's 2 raised to power 2 equals to 60. Then 2 raised to power 6 is 64. That's 2 multiply itself 6 places. So we have 64 minus 4. Is this equals to 60 of course? This is 60 which is equals to 60. Then from here we can conclude since the left hand side equals to the right hand side we can conclude therefore the value of x here is 144 and the value of y is 16. Thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more exciting videos also turn on the notification bell and see you in the next class bye for now.